Yes. other booths that are here too but we have some tag here um, all of this stuff is coming back to our place um, so it's going to be sold on 15 hands tag so you can find it on marketplace and you can find it on eBay um, when I get back and I'll take pictures of it and all that good stuff but um, I want to show you a couple things that we have we've got a couple saddle pads you guys have already seen this one and this one and then we have a nice real red one that's really kind of nice for Christmas and nice black and white you know some of these are gently used some of them are brand new but you can't tell I mean look at that that looks brand new and then we get a half pad and this is a really really nice one and then something like this this is really super nice underneath the saddle plus we got some polo wraps you guys have already seen that a um, couple little hay nets a cotton hay net which is amazing probably gonna use that myself a um, couple other little things some more saddle pads this is really awesome I think I might buy that one myself um, and a bunch of different things like uh, the bridles you guys have seen this hanging in my barn so we get that and this and all these ones these are all on marketplace already so you can see those then we get a couple of breastplates this one's really really cute I love this one a lot so if you uh, you guys like teal and butterflies all your ladies husbands buy this for your ladies this will look really really great on a sorrel colored horse this is a fantastic so, so we're here we're just gonna do a couple little things the boys are home they're in the pasture and they're having a great time so um, I'm gonna hang out here for a little while listen to some music and uh, nice. we'll be right back uh, Jarvis looks like a dork with his nothing he's not all dressed up or anything he's just got his little no. stripes he looks Fabulous. <laughs> he does. He looks fabulous. So uh, we are here now at the Senior Center in East Bend. And what's going on? It's going to get really busy here in just a little bit. That way. Because the Pilot Mountain. over this way, where Pilot Mountain is, which you can see, it's that, that little thing right there. That's Pilot Mountain. We're going to have some fireworks. And I'm going to put them in here so you guys can watch them too. So stick around and uh, yeah, enjoy the fireworks.
the fireworks, what'd you think? My little town knows how to put on a pretty good show. So anyway, just want to say thank you for coming and thank you for watching all the little things that we do all the time here on Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. And uh, I think we're going to wait here for a little bit. It's a little busy. <laughs> so we're not going anywhere anytime quick. So we'll see you guys. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time on Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. guys okay so I'm gonna throw this at the very end ooh, <laughs> of the video of um, the fireworks and all of that and because um, I got an email today from a viewer who you guys probably heard me talk about him once he sent me those rain slickers way back when I think last year when I did a video on um, Raincoats and so forth. So I got my rain slicker on again, and you guys are awesome. All talking about my rain slicker. This is great. Oh, I have to fix that. Fix that. That's not good. And um, he wrote me an email to or an email today and said, "Go to your PO box because I think there's a care package in there." So uh, let's go. See you later, boys. at my local coffee shop and this is not 
brought to you by, this is not sponsored by, but this is from our local coffee shop called Books and Brew. And it is really cute. It's a cute little coffee shop, little espresso shop. They have baked items, little brownies, and they have books. So you can get your coffee and then you can go over into the other side and you can read a book. And all the books are donated from everybody in the town. So um, there's everything from horror books and uh, technical manuals to coloring books and games and stuff like that. It's really a lot of fun. So um, let's do this. I'm going, my favorite, favorite drink is an espresso. And this is an Americano. Oh my gosh, look how dark that is. And this is what I was drinking earlier. And I just added some more cream to it. So I'm just going to add this to my favorite coffee mug. And uh, I'm going to enjoy a nice espresso. Make sure that lid's on tight. Alrighty. Mmm. Ah, oh, good coffee. Okay. Let's open this up and see what we got inside. Sorry about my umbrella stand. That's all I got. Alrighty. Let's see. Alright. Oh. This gentleman works for this company i think these are like yellow slickers and stuff like that they're like really super heavy duty i'm gonna have to see these ones look like they're a different fabric style than um the other one that he sent because he sent us one it was very 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 heavy and it was like made out of um the material that you would wash your dishes with so it wasn't very breathable and i did wear it but it wasn't very comfortable so let's open this up and see what kind of um fabric because it looks like the fabric's a little different. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Okay, it is made out of a different type of material. Um, it seems like it'll be a little bit more breathable. And it comes with a little bat. Oh, nope, that's the hat. That's the hat. <laughs> that's the hat. Definitely a lot lighter material than the other stuff. I think this is cool. I know, what do you think, Snow? I've got a little collar thing. And the inside is made out of a, the whole thing, it's, it's like, it's got waterproofing, waxy feeling on the outside. And on the inside, um, it's like a cloth. And it says exterior is 100% uh, polyurethane. And the interior is 100% nylon. So... are very very tight around your wrists you're not gonna get wet there those are very tight ah. so it's kind of neat it's hot right now because I'm in the Sun come here you two cool thing this is much better than the other one this is much better than the other one and I think it'll be really good to keep this in my truck for um, I am gonna have to cut these though these are a little tight a little tight so I, I think I think I'm gonna cut it I think maybe design change is to instead of having a rubber band here because you can see it that short time made a mark on my wrist um maybe just have a sleeve with a button on it kind of like what you guys did up here you know what i mean but awesome wow thank you mr jim i appreciate this very much this is way cool 
and this is going to stay in my truck um, because the last time I actually helped somebody on the road, it was pouring rain and I didn't have anything except an umbrella to keep the both of us dry and this would have been very, very helpful. So there you go, you guys. Condor is the company. Um, they make pr protective clothing. So that's way cool. All right. Well, you guys, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and my brownie. And uh, we'll try these on later. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thank you for uh, sticking around. And uh, thank you for this. And we'll see you next time on Summerfield Farm. And uh, they're out there. <laughs> Draft horses. Bye, guys.